Hi everyone, Adam here. I've got a quick video for you today on batch rename. Let's jump right in. So I have a bunch of raw images here that I'd like to apply a naming convention to. Let's select all of our images by holding shift. I'll navigate to batch underneath the menu bar and batch rename. A dialog box will pop up and we're gonna have a look at it. I think at face value, it might look a bit intimidating. So let's start by ignoring the left panel entirely for now and focus what's on the right panel. As you can see, here are how these images are named currently on the left column here, and what the new name would be after we click the rename button. So how do we control what the new name will be? On the left panel is a series of boxes. In order, they are template, search and replace, case change, insert text, remove text, and strip spaces. These operations are applied from the top down, meaning that template will be the first to be applied, followed by search and replace, with strip spaces to be the last to be applied. The order of these can be altered, but for now let's practice with the default order of operations. Template changes the naming convention of all your images. Right now, you'll notice that we have our template set to DSC followed by five number signs. If I change my template to camera raw hyphen harbor and then number sign, number sign, number sign, you will see the new name adjust accordingly. Also note that the inclusion of the number sign creates an ascending numerical system after the title. Let's add the date these images were taken. To do that, we'll click the Insert Metadata button. I don't want my date to appear at the end, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste the text to before the image numbers. If I had other images in my folder and I wanted to start these images at a different number, I can manually change them to start at a fixed value of 32, say. Or I could simply click Auto Detect which would look in the current folder for where to start the numbering. So, we could simply rename our images like this, and for the most users, that would probably be enough, but there's another five other operations that we can run on our naming convention. Search and replace. I'll turn search and replace on by clicking the checkmark box. Let's search for the word harbor and replace it with wharf underscore harbor. Now let's click Case Change. I'm going to force the entire new name and name extension to be in lowercase. I can use the Insert Text function to add the word street after wharf. I'll add an underscore after the word street to maintain consistency. Clicking on Remove Text, let's get rid of the time from our date. Notice that the time appears after August 26. I'm going to set the delimiter to be 17, which appears to be the hour count on my time. I'll remove by using the count function until the time is completely gone, which appears to be about a count of nine total. Lastly, I'll turn strip spaces on, set to remove all, which will conclude my edits to this naming convention. These six criteria, starting with template and ending with strip spaces, can be rearranged using the up and down arrows here, which will give you a bit greater control. You can also add additional criteria and remove existing criteria. Finally, when you've settled on a naming convention that you like, you can use the save button on the top right to save the convention as a preset. That's it for batch rename function. Overall, I think that it's a pretty incredibly powerful tool that hopefully is a bit more demystified to you now. Names can be as complex or as simple as you want them to be. Please be sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos. Shoot me a message in the comment section below if there's a topic that you'd like me to cover next. Take care.